everybody and welcome to Multilingual Family. Thank you so much for being here, for sharing, for watching these videos. Today I would like to talk to you about methods. When it comes to raising multilingual kids, it is very important to have a plan and to stick to it. Now, not every method is for every family, but there are methods that have been proven to be more sales safe than others, that, that have been proven over and over again to be more effective, more efficient. So I'm going to talk about those in a minute. What is really important for you is to analyze your own unique family situation. Think about what is important to you and why, and then choose one of these, methods, these core methods. You might have to adapt little things, but stick to the core idea, right? Um, this is so important because once, once, you, once you decide yourself to, 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 to use one of these methods, you will have to stick to that for years, if not for life. So taking yourself some time to reflect on it and, and to think about what, what does it mean for you and for your life pays off really well. So now I would like to tell you a little bit more about this methods. Let's start with the OPOL. OPOL method stands for one person, one language. And this is a very popular method used by a lot of people. I know plenty of people that have used this method. And the basic idea is that it, the language is attached to a person. So for instance, you have your home, the, the mother speaks a language and the father speaks another language. Um, and the country language could be a third language or the same than one of the, one of the parents. So, for instance, I grew up with this method. My parents, they decided to use this method. How did it look like? My mother spoke Spanish, my father Swiss German, and the surrounding language, I mean the country language, was Spanish. But now again, if it could also be a third language, like in the situation of my husband and, and me. We live in Switzerland, the mother Spanish, the father Danish, and the surrounding language is a third one. So you see, no matter how, all, in all these situations we, we use the same method, the opole, and it works very well. But um, it's not sufficient just to speak with a child your language. You need to use some language supplements to support the language acquisition. Mostly, most of all, of the, of the minority language, which means the language that is being used least. And this can be going to uh, visiting playgrounds where kids speak that language, uh, hiring a nanny that is native speaking, uh, using books, music, visiting the country, having all the family members uh, speaking with your child in that language and so on. Now, let's go to the second one. The second one would be the minority language at home. And that means that at home you speak the same language. You have the same family language and the surrounding language, the country language, is another one. This method is often seen in families that migrated to another country. And this method, what you have to be aware of is that if your children do not have a lot of contact with the outer world, they might not be able to speak the country language as fast as their peers. So if you want them to have a more smooth start into school, I really recommend you to send your kids to to um, a daycare or, or, or to playing groups or whatever, wherever place that you can find where they can use the country language so they have a smooth start. And later on, 
it's no problem. If you are very consistent and you use the language at home consistently, they will become bilingual without a problem. Then I have the method that I like to call one situation, one language, or so, which means that the language is not attached to a person, but rather to a situation or a place. So for instance, you speak at home one language, right? Like here, in this method. And then you send your kids to a school that is bilingual or to another another immerse, immersive program and they speak, they're immersed in this place in another language, right? And another example would be that, for instance, people say, okay, when we go on vacation, we speak that other language. Uh, but when we are home, we speak the other thing. So, for instance, on vacation you speak always, I don't know, German. And at home you speak Spanish, for instance, right? There are other people that, that, that attach the languages to, to the days, for instance. They say, on Monday we're going to speak German all together, on Tuesday we speak Spanish, and on Wednesday, again, German or a third language and so on. So, you see what I mean? You, you, you use the language depending on where you are or depending on the situation. Now, this method is very used by monolingual families. And that works fine because they have their language at home and they send the kids to somewhere else where they can learn this other language. But uh, here with this method, you really have to be careful if you are, if you, if you use more than one language at home. Because for this method to work out well, you really have to be extremely disciplined. Because in the end, that's what's going to lead to success, being consequent with your plan. You have to stick to it, right? So if you, one day you forget to use the language on Monday and then you switch back and forth from one to the other language, that is really not good. That's not good. So, there are other times that this uh, method can be very useful, but let's talk about that on another video. Good, so that is more or less a quick overview over the, the most important methods there are. Um, I've created a very nice worksheet for you, a reflection sheet, let's say, Lena, so that with important questions that you can ask yourself that would help you to find out which of these methods is best, or would work best for you. And if you, if, you, if you would like to have that, you just have to sign up and you'll get that immediately. If you already signed up, don't worry, you will get that and much more anyway. So thank you so much for watching and see you soon.